Alright guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play walkthrough. Today we have Quiet Godo, which is a game where you try to find keys and unlock rooms and not get murdered by the Godo. As always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I always appreciate it. Hopefully I won't get murdered. Where's the sound at? I can't hear nothing. Is there supposed to be sound in this game? Oh yeah, I got you. I can kind of hear myself walking around. Let me turn it up for you guys. So if I get jump scared, it's not just me. We get jump scared together. Squad. What is this? There's no key here. Oh, it doesn't even make noise. Nice. What? Oh yeah, I'm looking for keys. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Where's the key at? And here we go. Interacting with things is kind of hard. I have, like flannel pajamas on. Interacting with things in this game is actually very hard. Wow. Wow. Um, hmm. Where would a key be? Probably, it's gotta be in one of these drawers, right? There's no way it's not. Oh my gosh, there's no key. Can I open these? The hitbox on, like, opening things is, like, really difficult. Oh, there's a flashlight. Sick. Good start. What I hate is, I'm pulling this stuff open, and then when I move forward a little bit, it, like, bangs into it, which is really annoying. This door doesn't want to open, because I don't have a key. Oh, this game's hard, bro. This game is insanely hard, actually. <laughs> what is that? Oh, is there a key? Oh, we found one. Okay, cool. One key acquired. And then you gotta, like, swing it around. Oh, heck. The door is insanely loud, actually. Where is the Godo at? Hmm. Yeah, things are really hard to interact with in this game for some reason. What is that? That is a picture of the stove being hot. I like how he just, like, flips things around, like... Oh, fuck that thing. Oh, dude, chill. Chill, please. Got it. Oh, it got me. Okay. Fuck that little thing. Jesus. Don't open the fridge, your boy. That's all I, how I always used to get caught as a kid, too, was opening the stupid fridge. Jesus. Too realistic. Five me. Alright, well, I found one of the keys, at least. And then I opened the fridge and got murdered. Alright, I guess it cuts your tongue out, and he doesn't like it when you walk around either, apparently. What's this? An alarm? Hmm, where's the alarm at? Goes off at 11.59, apparently. Son of a bitch. Here it comes! You suck! Where's that alarm at? Where's the alarm coming from? God dang it. That dude's a butthole. Oh, this is frustrating. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. Died so many times to go to just like fuck this guy. <laughs> uh oh. Psych doesn't matter, cause he's stuck somewhere. How did I get him stuck? Is he in there still? I guess he is. He's gotta be somewhere in there. What if I unglitched him somehow and he comes out and murders me? Hilarious but tragic. So, um, hmm. <laughs> there it is. We did it! Yay! We've conquered the Godo without playing the game correctly, which is amazing. I'm not mad. But yeah, some of these keys are really hard to find. And now I have shoes on so I can step on that little sucker. Thank God. Oh, I'm gonna murder you, boy. Oh, I can't stomp him because... Oh, no. There he is. He won't let me move. Oh, I'm flying. What the hell is going on? Uh oh, game's glitched. 
Damn it! What is happening here? We've entered the realm of the Twilight Zone. Ah, this sucks. I can't move. Well, damn it! One more time. God dang, one more time. Ah! Oh. Yay, that's an easy spawn, thankfully. Let's go. Good job, game. Thank you. Alright, so the blue key's been found. Now I just gotta find the green key. And not die. This game's not that bad. As I originally thought it was, because you can fight him with the chair. I think that's really nice. And, but, uh, it's so hard to interact with some of the things. Once you get a little bit more used to it by, like, using the S and the W key to help you pull things open, that helps a lot. But, man, it is still hyper frustrating, this game. Hyper frustrating, because one little thing and you've goofed. And you gotta start all the way over, which is annoying. But, you know. He slammed a fucking door open at me again. He's so rude, dude. He's dead now. Suck it. One of the few chairs in the house. If you have a chair in the house, you're good. But if you're not near a chair, you're... I don't even know what I did there to piss him off. But something I did make way too much noise, apparently. That's the hard part about this game is you don't know what's gonna make a ton of noise and what's gonna make very little noise. If you run into something, you're basically banking on making a ton of noise. Like any kind of door or anything like that. I don't remember seeing this when I opened that door, but I guess it was here the whole time. Wow. And then eventually you get... He will glitch. I had one run where he actually did glitch. He wasn't trying to kill me. He was just stuck. And I actually, like, got all the keys on that run. But, unfortunately, I'm dumb. Because I could have unglitched him by stepping on the one of the chairs probably and killed him even though he was being a jerk it's one of those red key please let that be the red key right there but yeah I, I could have unglitched him probably and stomped on his little butt but I didn't do that I just restarted the game because well actually I glitched myself too because I went to go stomp him while he was stuck and I couldn't move either like we were both stuck together so that was really frustrating but alright Let's try to kill this little bitch then. Stomp him. Stomp, stomp. Do I have to make the noise and then stomp him, or...? I'm afraid that I won't stomp him in time and he'll kill me, and I'll be really fucking pissed, actually. Am I supposed to kill him, or can I just leave? I'm gonna try to just leave, actually. Let me see if I can find a key to get out of here. Now that I have my shoes on. It wouldn't let me open the door normally, but now that I have shoes on, there might be a chance, actually. There is a key in here as well, so. Might be best to fight him in the bathroom if I'm gonna fight him, because there's only one entrance. And I can, like, stand on top of something, maybe step on him. But yeah, this game is hard, because, like... Not in principle, but the way things interact in this game, and the fact that you can make random ass noises. Stomp his ass. Stomp him. What's happening? I'm floating. Yes! Thank God! We got him. Yes! Take that! Oh, I hate that thing, bro. You win. Oh, bro, I'm telling you, I've struggled so much with this game when it shouldn't be that hard. Um, my hints, tips, and tricks on the game are, you probably saw them in the playthrough. Get on the chair, hope you get good key spawnings. Um, oh, it's so frustrating. I really wish the hitbox for dragon things were a lot better, and I wish there were better audio cues for when you're making noise. Because sometimes you'll make a butt ton of noise and fill up the noise bar without there being like an actual audio cue for it, which is frustrating. 
the game's hard. It's a really good first game, but it has a ton of faults in it, and it can be very difficult. It literally took me an hour to beat this game, even though it's like a five-minute game. But thanks for watching, as always, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Oh, and oh my god, the noise he makes when he's dying, the main character, is so annoying. When he's getting his tongue cut out, I hate it. I, I guess, what kind of noise do you expect somebody to make with their tongue getting cut out? But I hate that noise. It got so frustrating with me when I was dying so many times. But thanks for watching, as always, guys. Bye!